number one is to think of why. Why are you doing what you're doing? Uh, most entrepreneurs will actually um, think of uh, success and making money as their primary objectives. Yeah, you could probably succeed and make money, that's fine. Uh, but that's actually not the right way to, to build something sustainable and major. Uh, most entrepreneurs that actually changed the world and became you know, very wealthy were people that wanted to solve a big problem that affects the lives of billions of people. And so when you really think about Mark Zuckerberg, you know, trying to, to solve social, social media and socialization in the, in the world of the internet, Google trying to, ser to solve search and, you know, organizing the world's information. If you find a big problem and you solve it so that people will want to use your products, uh, you know, once or twice a day, like they use a toothbrush, you're bound to make a lot of money. If you think of the why uh, and, and position yourself, not in a way where you just make the a slightly better photo sharing app, but rather create something that makes a difference, you're bound to be very successful as an entrepreneur. A second habit is how. How do you get there? Unlike what most people believe, uh, you know, the life of an entrepreneur should be, you know, very tough and rough and stressful. And I actually say the best way to get there is to be happy, to do this with uh, passion, with uh, enthusiasm, to surround yourself with people that believe in what you're trying to, to, to achieve and uh, to take every step that you take with joy of the experience that you're probably only, only going to have once in a lifetime. And I know it sounds really weird because of course you also have to be serious, of course you have to work long hours, uh, of course the, you know, the decisions are sometimes difficult and stressful, but that doesn't mean that you, don't, you do them with a grim on your face and you, you, know, you, know, you, you feel uh, uh, unhappy about it. As a matter of fact, Everyone who's ever started a successful business will tell you that the best times were the early times when the company was 6, 8, 12 people and they were so much fun, the success and the challenge and the, you know, the solutions and the problems as, as they arise and how we attack them was really the best times of our life.